Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster. Today we do have a Star Wars The Black Series review. We do have the Walgreens exclusive 212th Clone Trooper, which is insane. This figure was really, really hard to find. I've checked so, so many Walgreens, and I finally found it in stores. And yeah, pretty happy about that. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Like I said, this was a Walgreens exclusive. It is still hitting stores, so go check your Walgreens if you are looking for it. But looking at the box, we do have this beautiful figure from the front. Looks amazing. Flipping it over to the side, we do have this awesome artwork of the 212 Trooper as well. Not really sure what the planets and stuff in the background is, but it looks really, really cool. So, yeah, pretty impressed with that. You can kind of see Aura Singh's arm right there because she is the figure on the other side of the box. Flipping over to the back, it is number 9 in the Clone Wars line. You can pause and read the bio if you would like. We do have that image there on the back again as well. Flipping it over this side, not a whole lot going on, so let's go ahead, crack this baby open, and see what he looks like. So we do have the figure out of the box here, and it looks really, really good, I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, really impressed with how it came out. One thing I do like about this is that they didn't try to weather the paint too much. On some of the older figures, they try to really, really, like, weather the paint, and it just looks kind of bad because they don't, because they, like, chip the paint, but they don't add any dirt or grime or weathering, so it just looks like the, they messed up the paint job, and it doesn't look like, like, actual weathering. So, I'm really glad that they didn't try to do that too much with this figure, and honestly, I think it came out really, really good. But like I said, this figure was pretty hard to get. It is a Walgreens exclusive, which still kind of blows my mind. It was about a year ago that Hasbro announced that this figure would be a Walgreens exclusive and that it would be going up for pre-order. It never went up for pre-order and it's not available online, so it is an in-store exclusive, which means it's a pretty hard figure to get and uh, I'm just really happy to get my hands on it. So let's go ahead, take this figure off the spinny stand. So now that we have him off the, sp the spinny stand, we can take a closer look like I said, he does have a little bit of like paint chipping here and there, but it's nothing like some of the other clones, which you'll see later in the video. But yeah, I'm glad they didn't do that because those just don't look as good. And compared to the original 212th, if they decided to do that, the weathering just would not have stood up to that figure. So I'm really glad they decided to go with the cleaner look, and I think it came out pretty well. Some cool things that I do like is they added the silver on the helmet. That's something that they didn't start doing until pretty recently and it's a nice touch to the figure i'm really glad they decided to do that not a whole lot going on it's a pretty basic 212 paint job and honestly i think it looks pretty good let's go ahead and jump into some basic articulation there is a ball joint at the head and the bottom of the neck so you get a ton of range for articulation his arms can go up the shoulder pad will bend and go over the shoulder there so he could t-pose if you want him to his arms do go all the way around, and he gets a really, really good bend at the shoulder. It is on the newer clone body, of course, so you can get some pretty good articulation. He's got a ball at the abdomen area. Of course, he does have pretty far kicks. Big thing is that this pointy piece gets in the way, so you kind of have to bend his leg sideways, which does make it kind of tough to get him kneeling positions because he doesn't have a rotator at the knee. So. Well, he does, but like the, the the knee pad doesn't. So it looks a little weird because the knee pad is just off center. Uh, obviously, the knee pad should be on the bottom of the leg, and they just decided to glue it to the top for some reason. Not sure why they did this, but uh, it does look a little funky. Of course, he does have a pivot and a rocker on the ankles. But yeah, he can get some pretty good articulation with the knees as well. Uh, honestly, I'm a big fan of the newer clone body. I know some people don't like it as much, but I think the articulation is great, and it's a huge upgrade from the old clone body. So I'm all for it, and I think it turned out pretty well. Taking a quick look at the accessories, he only does come with the one blaster. It is a basic clone blaster that we've been getting ever since the newer 2020 sculpt for the, the, the clone blaster. So... Yeah, pretty basic, comes with most of the clones. Unfortunately, it only does come with the one blaster. Normally, these clones come with the blaster and the rifle, but unfortunately, it only came with the one. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad we're getting accessories at all. First up for comparisons, we do have him here next to General Obi-Wan Kenobi in his Clone Wars gear. That one is a Target exclusive, and we have it next to the Archive Commander Cody. I know I've said this before, but unfortunately, my Commander Cody does have a misprint. The top of his helmet is all white when it should have the gray slash tan strips but unfortunately it is misprinted but uh yeah 
aside from that, this looks absolutely amazing together. The yellows don't really match up perfectly between Cody and the 212th, but it's close enough for me. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm just really happy to be building out that 212th. Now, kind of throwing it back, we do have some older figures to compare it to, but on the left is the Order 66 212th Trooper. That is the original one back from 2016, so it has been quite a while. This was the original release, and of course, uh, it's pretty expensive on the aftermarket. I do want to point out one big difference, and that is the helmet. On this one, the line goes all the way to the back there, but on this one, it doesn't. Don't know why it doesn't. I don't know which one's screen accurate either. I have to go back and check, but um, just kind of just a little weird. I don't know why it's uh, it's like that, but. You know, it is what it is. And obviously we do have the Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan on the right too. And that one's looking pretty good. It's not as good as some of the other Obi-Wans we have in the line. But it goes pretty good with this figure. So if you do have that one and you're trying to army build the 212th, it will go great with it. Moving on with some more clones. On the right we do have the standard 501st. Obviously if you're army building some of these, you might want to army build the 501st and the 212th together. They're so iconic and uh, they look great together as well. I'm honestly hoping we do get a uh, 501st on the new clone body to match it, but until then we do have the 332nd on the new clone body, and that is actually on the left. Both are looking great, and all of them look great together, so yeah. Really amazing, and like I said, it's just going to go great with any of the clone troopers you guys get. Keeping it going with comparisons, we do have two more of the newer clone body figures. On the left, we do have the Walmart exclusive clone. Uh, it's actually the Imperial clone shock trooper. That is from the Bad Batch line, but I actually just removed the pauldron, so it's a standard shock trooper. Pretty cool, and it's really easy to do and it looks great next to the 212th. And then on the right we do have the Camino clone looking really good as well. Honestly, like I said, any figure, any clone you guys want to pose this with, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this and I cannot wait to add it to my collection. But we do have one more comparison left. And that is actually with the Umra Arc Trooper looking super good as well. Like I said, the yellows and the orange don't match up perfectly, but it works. I, 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 it just works. I don't know what to say about it. It looks really, really good. And uh, I really love how these two figures look together. As you guys can tell, I do have another 212th there. I did manage to find two at the store, and I actually had a buddy send me one as well, so thank you so much, Ian, for hooking me up with that. We will probably be doing a 212th giveaway. I did manage to get a sealed one, so if you guys do want to subscribe, we'll be doing that in the future. Don't know when yet, but if you do want to have a chance to win it, I'd say stick around, because we'll be definitely doing that in the future. That is probably going to do it for the video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, the like button and subscribe. Overall, I'm going to give the figure a 5 out of 5. I really, really loved how it turned out. I'm a big fan of the new clone body, and I'm a big fan of the paint job. There's not a ton of flaws with it, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Obviously, the Walgreens exclusive part sucks, but, you know, if, if you just keep on checking your, your Walgreens, it is able it's 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 possible to find it's just it takes time and that's one thing i learned after hitting the <laughs> those those walgreens over and over again so yeah it takes time you just gotta you just gotta keep on checking so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video